it is worth it to buy. So, pag-usapan natin yun ngayon. While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's Aileen at Lindsay's Lean channel where we talk everything under the sun. So guys, I know that many of you are asking kung kamusta na ba yung watch ko, Samsung Gear Fit 2 and alam ko madami nang nangyari with that watch. So, may mga nagtanong if it is worth it to buy. So, pag-usapan natin yun ngayon. So, ayun na nga, since may problem siya on July the 3rd, hindi pa rin gumana kahit pagka-uwi ko. Sabi nila, it's a software update lang daw yung problema. So, binalik ko ulit sa kanila the day after. So, that's July 4th. I demanded for a um, for a replacement a brand new replacement for the watch kasi sabi ko ayaw kong buksan nila yung watch and all that. So, uh, mabait naman yung customer service and the OIC was able to call me and pinalita naman nila. Pero it's a series of event. If you wanna know kung ano yung process na pinagdaanan ko, kung gano'ng ka-frustrated, the, the, the link is down below for the other video that I have that I already uploaded before. So, ayun. And, aside from that, after noon, so napalitan nila, it's a brand new, brand new watch. It works out perfectly fine, not until two months later. Two months later, it stopped working when I was in Iloilo. So, after three days being in Iloilo, dinala ko na agad siya sa service center dito sa Manila. And, they told me that there is a corrosion. There is a corrosion in the watch, meaning na basa, may sumabog sa loob or whatever. The, the watch is completely damaged and it has to be repaired. Ang sabi sa akin ng mga tao sa service center, it would cost me 12,000 or 13,000 to repair the watch. And honestly, at that point, I really don't care. I don't want to repair the watch. I just want to get my money back. And if they would ask me na magbayad, hindi na ako magbabayad sa kanila na yung watch ko. And I will just completely forget about that 8,000 stupid watch. So, that's that's what I am feeling that time. So, sabi ko sa kanila, I am not accepting any anything na kailangan ko magbayad. Because the watch is absolutely water resistant, guys. So, hindi ako nag-dive. Hindi ako kung ano-ano yung ginawa ko, basta yun. So, to cut the story short, um... Nagawa ng paraan nung representative, wala akong bayaran sa kahit anong service. Pinalitan nila yung pinalitan nila yung board, pinalitan yung battery and all. But basically same watch, pinalitan lang yung mga materials and yung piyesa sa loob. Kasi come to think of it, guys, I bought the watch for 8,091, 8,990, let's say almost 9,000. Binili ko yung watch na yon tapos magbabayad ako ng 13,000 para sa repair. Eh, di bibili na lang ako ng bago ba at paka magbabayad for repair, da? ba? It doesn't make sense. So, um, nagawa na yung watch ko anong October. Nakuha ko yung watch ko and it works out just fine. And then, 2019 came in. Nagulat na lang ako, um, I think it's around February. So, I was out and at exactly 3 a.m., I looked at my watch. Nagulat na lang ako na parang kasi nag-alarm ako eh. Nag-alarm ako sa, sa, sa watch ko. And then, I think it's an hour. So, pagtingin ko dun sa watch ko, it's not working anymore. So, I'm not sure what happened. It just completely turned off. And kapag malilobot siya, magbabibrate siya. Like, thrice bago siya mamatay. So, and may interval. So, hindi nangyari yun on that time. And I was thinking na baka hindi ko lang naramdaman during that time. So, when I went home, chinarge ko agad yung, yung, yung watch ko. And when I put it on the dock charger, naglagay siya ng 70%. So, inisip ko baka nagloko lang siya. So, it turned on ko ulit. Um, pag turned on ko, it works almost an hour. At after noon, namatay ulit siya. So, pin nilagay ko ulit siya sa charger and nag-display ng 50%. And then, it cannot be turned on afterwards. 
So, I went back to the service center, I think, a week after. Kasi nga, nakakapagod, nakakasawa ng pabalik-balik. And I, and I was thinking, ano ba talagang gagawin ko dun sa watch? Because at that point, I really hate them. I went there. I demanded for it to be, um, you know, to, to be returned. And I need my money back. So, they mentioned na hindi daw, baka hindi daw ma-approve because of what happened. But I'm so worried that 2019, mag one year na siya this coming June, supposed to be. And kapag umabot na repaired siya, tapos by June masira ulit, wala na akong warranty. So, ginawa ko, nag-demand talaga ako. And thank God, like after a week of providing them and surrendering the watch, Samsung called me and they mentioned that it has been approved for a check reversal and they are reversing me the full amount of the watch which is the discounted price 8091 so last month like third week of march i was able to receive the check from samsung already guys and um well i went to the service center to of course to claim it and all that so ayun nakuha ko naman na and nakuha ko na yung check Ang problema dun, guys, is yung check nila is Bank of America. Bank of America, Philippines. So, kung nakatira ka dito sa Pilipinas, ang Bank of America is located in Makati and I'm in Alabang. So, for 8,000 pesos, pupunta pa ba ako dun? So, hindi na, of course, I just deposited to my account and that's it. So, I guess the bottom line of this video, guys, is that kung bibili kayo ng Samsung Gear Fit, watch or any Samsung products make sure to really keep the receipt para kung may, nangyari, kung may mangyari man, may babalik nyo and make sure na huwag kayo mag-expect or mag-accept anything less from the company because what you are paying for is the service that they should be providing. Of course, there would be process and you should be patient about it but then again if you know that you know it is not worth paying for then just simply don't buy it. So this is just my uh, experience with Samsung Gear Fit 2. I'm not sure because my friend is absolutely having a good time with it. Hindi siya nagloko kahit once. So yung mga napunta lang sa akin, hindi pa alam ko ano nangyari. Pero anyways, yun nga. So thank you so much guys for um, watching this video. And kung may questions kayo, kindly put comment down below. I'll be more than willing to help you out by any means that I can. <laughs> Gusto niyo mapanood yung iba kong videos with regard to the watch, like the unboxing, may impression on it, tapos ko ano nangyari after, naka yung mga link na sa baba. So, thank you so much guys for watching, and again, it's Eileen at Lindsay's Lane Channel. Have a great day everyone! Mwah!